皆さん、おはようございます。ベキです。よろしくお願いします。Happy Mirai Learning Lab へようこそ。Hi everyone! Good morning! ベキ speaking. How are you doing? Welcome to Happy Mirai Learning Lab. Alright, today、uh, I would like to share some basic verbs. Yes, please. Let's say it's going to be a、uh, group one. On the GLPT N5, yes,、yeah, some、uh, basic verbs、uh, with sentence examples.、Uh, I will introduce how to change them to negative, nine form as well as must form the polite stuff. And at the end of the video, I'm going to、uh, introduce about K God. So if you are interested,、uh, please、uh, watch until the end. All right. Okay, let's start. So、uh, previously, I have uh, in, uh, created some、uh, videos about、uh, M5 verbs already. Okay, if you haven't、uh, watched, or if you would like to increase your、uh, vocabularies、uh, for verbs,、uh, please go check out the group two and group three verbs on the lesson three, and、uh, some of the group one verbs on. Uh, lesson four and lesson five. All right, and、uh, please remember to subscribe and turn on your notification bell if you would like to receive new updates. Okay. So first of all, let's quickly review how to change verb to must form. Okay, over here, must form. It is the polite stuff. Tainen go. Tainego. Okay. At the end of the video, I'm going to introduce about keigo. Okay. Tainego. It is a type of keigo. Let's look at the change pattern. So for group one, which is the godan doshi. All right. As you know, suffix o ends on uda. Okay. So we just need to change them to the ida where they belong to, and then plus mas. Okay. It will become the polite stuff. And next,、uh, verb change to negative form, which is nai form. Okay, let's look at the change pattern. Godan doshi ends on suffix uda, so we just need to change them to ada where they belong to and plus nai. Then it will become the negative form. Okay, let's quickly go through the ten basic verbs and sentence examples. Naku to sem to mew to mu nakimas nakanai. Tori ga naku, tori ga nakimas, tori ga nakimas. Bird sings. Nalu to rain to sound. Okay, here please take note of the、uh, character here. Yeah, nalimas. Nala nai. Suzuka nalu. Suzuka nalu. Suzuka nalimas. Bell rings. Nalu. See over here. It is also nalu. However, it is a different, different character. Okay, this one is、uh, when we use it is mainly、uh, be written in hiragana. This one is.、Uh, Used、uh, very often to become okay. Nalimas, nala nai. Akaku nalu, akaku nalu, akaku nalimas, akaku nalimas. Okay, akai. It is a ikeyosh. All right. So when we、uh, change, when we use a、uh, ikeyosh plus nalu, we need to change the e to ku and then plus nalu. Akai, akaku nalu. All right, akaku nari mas. Become red. I desu ka? Hai, tsuki. Nugu, to take off clothes or shoes. Nugi mas, nuga nai. Kutsu o nugu, kutsu o nugi mas, kutsu o nugi mas. Take off shoes. All right. Noboru. Nobolu to climb. Noboli mas. Noboli mas. Nobola nai. Nobola nai. Yamani nobolu. Yamani noboli mas. 
Yama is mountain. Yama ni nobolimasu. Climb mountain. Noru. This one is more referring to take a bus or take a train. Yeah? Noru. To take. To ride. Norimasu. Noranai. Bus ni noru. Bus ni noru. Bus ni norimasu. Bus ni norimasu. Take bus. Nomu to drink. Nomimas. Nomanai. Kohi o nomu. Kohi o nomu. Oh, over here it is the object mark. Okay. Kohi o nomimas. Kohi o nomimas. Drink coffee. Hashiru. Hashiru to run. Hashirimas. Hashiranai. Inu ga hashiru. Inu ga hashiru. Inu means dog. Inu ga hashirimasu. Inu ga hashirimasu. Hataraku. Hataraku to walk. Hatarakimasu. Hatarakimasu. Hatarakanai. Hatarakanai. Okay. Kare wa yoku hataraku. Kare wa yoku hatarakimasu. Kare wa yoku hatarakimasu. He works very hard. Hairu to enter. Hairimasu. Hairimasu. Hairanai. Hairanai. Kaikishitsu ni hairu. Kaikishitsu ni hairu. Kaikishitsu meeting room. Okay. Kaikishitsu ni hairimasu. Okay, do you know what you do uh, or what do you say when you enter the meeting room uh, if you work for a Japanese company? Okay, so you need to knock the door. Dun, dun, dun. Next, okay, this is very important. You have to say, yeah, Excuse me, I'm going to enter the room. Yeah, okay, it's a very important phrase to use. All right. Okay, so here it is the keigo. Let's uh, go through what is keigo. Yeah, keigo. It is respect, uh, respectful speech. Okay, when you need to respect someone, uh, there are different type of speech we can use. So first, it includes honorific style. Song keigo. Song keigo. Okay, so this one is mainly you use to people who are in a much higher position or who need to, uh, who someone who you need to really show your uh, respect. Okay, and there are certain type of verbs, nouns, or adjectives which is they already they belong to honorific style. Sometimes we, for example, over here, some of them we often hear, "oshalu," yeah, "oshalu," say. Messi agaru eat. Ilasialu. Yeah, ilasialu can means go, come, or be. Golangi naru. Say, like, sama. Nani nani sama. Nani nani sama. When you need to address someone in the business um, world, you need to dress them like nani nani sama. Tanaga sama. Yoshida sama. Yeah, oh, isashibi des. Okay, so these are some of the words which are <coughs> referring to. Um, Someone's action or some or something related to someone. All right, honorific style. Songkego. Okay, this is the difficult one. Yeah, it requires uh, uh, a lot of uh, effort and time and patience to learn. Okay, and okay, this one I think the order is a bit wrong. Okay, so first let's go to number two, humble style, which is kenjogo. Kenjogo, okay, humble style, to lower our position, to respect other people. One of the very common examples is this, most, most be called, okay, for example, you are uh, entering a new company or you are uh, visiting your clients, so you want to introduce yourself, right? So you can see, Tanaka to moshimasu, dozo yoroshiku okay? Tanaka to moshimasu. Dozo yoroshiku onegaishimasu. 
Okay, so the later part, dozo, yoroshiku onegaishimasu. This is a very magical phrase. It can mean so many things. It really depends on what kind of situation you are using it. Using, okay, uh, you can really translate in so many, so many different ways. Okay, so Tanaka to moshimasu. It's basically saying I am Tanaka. Okay, however, in a very, very humble way, humble style. Okay, to show your respect to the people who you're talking to. Okay, all right, let's go back to the number three. Polite style. Okay, Tainai go. This is something we very often hear in the daily conversation. This something is more for daily, uh, daily use, daily Japanese. Okay, so like generally polite enough to talk to anyone. Okay, so something we often hear. Nani nani des, nani nani masu, nani nani gozaimasu. Okay, so for example, uh, over here, Tanaka des, yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Tanaka des, dozo yoroshiku onegaishimasu. You see, so it's generally really polite, yeah? It's polite enough you can talk use to anyone. Of, uh, of course, as I mentioned, uh, if you're talking to a business partner, so we'll, we'll use the, just now the one I mentioned, the humble stuff. Tanaka to moshimasu. Okay, all right. So the desk, okay? This is the polite style and for beginner Japanese, this is something uh, we will try to uh, master first, okay? All right, so that's the end of uh, the instruction about uh, Keigo, okay? So thank you for watching. If you like my video, please subscribe and please remember to click on the uh, notification bell yeah, if you want to receive the uh, new update okay and if you have any question or if you have uh, anything you want to me to create uh, please leave me a comment I will try my best to create uh, when I'm free okay and uh, very good news uh, our lockdown is ending soon so towards the end of uh, uh, the june i will be uh, organizing the free lesson via zoom again so uh, please uh, remember to check out on youtube or on the facebook for the update okay thank you for watching have a great day bye bye